Good afternoon, gentlemen. Control here with a banger attack mode deck. This one is going to be Sharima Noxus featuring the new buffed Legion rear guard. Uh, I maybe even just say reverted back to a 3 2 with can attack. Feels wonderful to play with that. And it is pretty good. I call this deck one drop deck because, well, guess what? The deck utilizes quite a few one drops. I think we got 12 in this bad boy. You can pump it up to 15 if you want. I know some people in different versions of this deck like to play in Bakai Reaper as well. Not really a fan myself. I found that it didn't really do too much in a couple games I played with it, so I replaced it pretty quick and actually slotted the rear guards in there. Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, regardless though, the deck, so Noxus, the core is pretty straightforward. There's really nothing fancy here. Only real new addition is the rear guard just because, well, a one mana 3-2 is pretty good. Uh, for Sharima, I mean, the two obvious inclusions for aggressive decks are just going to be Doomkeeper, one mana deal four damage if unblocked, which is really, really strong. And then the Bonkers five drop Rune Runner, which is basically just Darius' spell shield. Super, super strong. Again, she can't be flipped, which is kind of annoying, but still very powerful. I'd recommend uh, running her for sure. And then the two other ones. Azir, some of you guys might expect. He seemed a little bit weird to me at first in a deck like this, but the more that I thought about it, the more that it made sense. And when I actually played the deck, I was like, wow, this really clicks, and this is actually pretty freaking good. He kind of fits the theme of the deck of just swarming the board going wide, uh, and he will flip that way relatively easily. And when he does flip, he's pretty good. 2-6, that summons a 2-1 that then does one uh, damage to the enemy Nexus if he gets a Nexus, nexus Strike off and otherwise just gets blocked and does a lot of stuff for you. The Zero does get bigger and bigger if you do play more units, so he's pretty strong for a three-mana champion here. Runa's Path is the weird one, though, so this one is two-mana slow spell, draw a card, and if you've slain a unit, drain two. So, I mean, if you drain two and draw a card for two-mana, it's pretty good. It can also be spell mana, right? So it's definitely another added benefit. I would say this card I actually like playing with a lot. I found it hard to activate sometimes though, and I did have to just play it as a 2 minutes slow draw. So I'm actually not sure if I'd like this as a 3 of myself. I think maybe a 2 of is a little bit better. But if you are finding you're selling a lot of units, then perfectly fine to keep it as 3. I just found that I wasn't in some situations, and then I was just to play it as 2 mana draw 1, which actually isn't necessarily even that bad just because... You know, even when you're playing an aggro deck, drawing cards is nice because sometimes you do just need to find that decimate or that fervor to end up winning a game. So overall, I'd say that's pretty decent. Uh, general strategy of this deck is just go wide. You really want to play a one drop on turn one and then two one drops on turn two and then attack. This is pretty strong early. You know, you're definitely going to be losing as far as card advantage goes, but you know, you're playing an aggressive deck, so you're kind of fine with that for the most part. So those uh, kind of strategies will help you pop off early on and, um, you know, not too much crazy stuff happens later on with the deck. You kind of just want to continue pumping damage and generally end up finishing the game off with um, usually reach, I find, with the Decimator Fervor. Uh, other than that, you can also use cards like Runrunner, Darius, or Ferran to kind of pop up at the very end. You can end up winning pretty late in the game if you just rely on the Ferran draw or the Darius draw. So, I mean, you can concede on like turn 5, 6 if you're getting smoked. But if you think there's an opportunity to win, I'd say, you know, play a couple more turns to see what you draw. But this is a nice one. I got 12 games in about 65 minutes, I think. So, you know, game time is really short, which means if you guys are looking to grind ladder, you can do pretty well with this. I do find, though, when you do play aggro, it is just a little bit up in the air because you have less decisions to make. Your draws do matter a lot more. And that, I mean, in Rutera in general, you do just get punished for being the guy attacking in most cases. So you kind of have to queue good matchups on, uh, you know, the drawing well part. If you get the good matchups, doesn't matter as much. But if you, you know, queue bad matchups and you really do have to draw well. Avoid the Shadow Isles for Jellyard, guys. Do not queue into them. Because if you're going to play a bunch of one drops early on, and then they all get avalanched, you're not going to be too happy. Yeah, that's about the deck. It's pretty straightforward. And I would say a pretty fun one uh, for somebody like me as well. As far as the giveaway goes, we do have two winners. We'll just double check the comments here real quick with you guys. It is four minutes after 2 p.m., 204. Got seven likes from me. I could use a Lunar Beast, so hopefully that's the highest. Next up, we got 10 from Big Fart on Hold, bro. Wonderful username. Got one for your timeline and Plunder Riptide Rex in a Dreadway. That sounds pretty cool. I dig it. That's a cool deck. Hopefully, that's one in the top two. Scroll down a little bit more. 16 from Phobos Razor Ein Misfo. Definitely pronounced that name right. And we get 16 for that. Jarvan Garen Elise with Sharina. Sounds cool. Seven here. We have nine from Boncha for New Deep Deck. Okay, looks like we're playing Jarvan, Gear and Elise with Shrima from Phobo, and we are playing Timeline plus Plunder of Tedrex into Dreadway from Big Fart on Hold Bra. Uh, DM me on Discord, guys. Uh, control, hashtag 2631, and I will uh, get you set up to be entered to win. Thanks for leaving the comments. I appreciate it, guys, and I will catch you guys.
tomorrow. Enjoy the video today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Anyways, Vlad Brom, I'm going to guess this is going to be not great for us, actually. And we'll keep one, two, three. Got some banger tunes at the Earth Board as well. No fucking around out here. Ah, yes, exactly what I was looking for for Ron. Very nice. Generally, what I'm looking for on turn one is always the biggest card in my deck. Ron. Very, very good. The joke. Kind of funny. Type four. Okay. Play like Grenadier so we can't value trade. Otherwise, the spider is probably better, but this is fine. Ooh. So I could play a zero or I could go rear guard plus house spider. Which I kind of prefer. I think that the sand soldier is good, but I think just going wider is probably going to be stronger for us here. I think this is a much better card to develop on three when you're in evens. On odds, I think it's a lot better to just go in. Because when you attack them and deal damage, they die. He plays dumb card that gives him attack and tough, and I play cards that say I'm going to do damage to you. And then, you know, we push like, what, nine damage or so? Maybe eight, depending on how he blocks. Kind of good. It's like casual nine. Putting him to seven. There we go. Ooh, broken five drop. Uh, that card kind of sucks. Honestly, don't even really know how strong this is actually. I feel like he's bad or anything, but he's not super powerful. And it's going to be just a bop into a decimate, I think. It's even needed. 3-3 three, three, and then... Very close. Based on those trades, we win, but maybe some heals or removal. Okay, not bad. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Jesus. Um. That's a board clear. On the bright side, my hand has two decimates in it. So I actually don't really care that much. <laughs> Otherwise, I might actually give a shit about that. That was kind of, uh, kind of good. But fortunately, uh, the onslaught of little idiots wins against this dude. I love how his name's Butcher Ferran. Except the captain here just sitting, waiting. We'll take what we want. The rest will burn. And decimate. Good guy. Nice scar mother. Peach. Easy game one. Energy for with Ionia. What is the Ionia for? Kind of interesting. I like to look for triple one still. So. And Spider is acceptable as a transition, I guess, for card. We'll be running Deny? Maybe. I don't know how good it is. It's kind of tough to say. Zoe and uh, Lee Sin, so basically all burst cards except for the Overwhelm thing. Um, I mean, I guess in theory, if like Targon's less prevalent, um, then it's better. The Deny is kind of a whack card to just put in your deck for Ionia because of all the burst speed that's been kind of around in general for this game recently. I'm actually here. But in the context, I guess, of Hmm. I think she'd probably just take that, unfortunately. I missed one, but it's kind of just whatever. I guess the point that I was trying to make is if there's more fast and, uh, and slow speed spells, then tonight gets better for sure. Okay, interesting face bomb there. This card is really annoying. It's not just a challenger this round, it's challenger for the rest of the game. Which is super good. You can play like a 3-2 here that would just clown the Draven. Nice pass. Pass this back, smart. Time for the main event. 
probably could have led with Doom Keeper. I don't think it really matters too too much though, just because Draven will be played here. Banner and plus. No time to form up. Right. Okay. Cool. See what we see. So Got access, need victims. Do your worst. Make way. Spurvering is worth. Calvary is kind of fucking annoying. There's also an eat help though. You probably don't. 8 HP is kind of a good luck. We'll play the path card now. Actually, I didn't slay a unit, so never mind, I won't. I keep on thinking that this is just like, uh, like when you hit the Nexus is activated. Like the, the biology water thing. Like nab, basically, sorry. Uh, but it's slain, it's not anything to do like that. So, um, doesn't actually do too much for the pass. Yeah, plunder, yes, sir. Thank you. Plunder. I think plunder and nab because it's usually like plunder then nab. Let's slot this first. But also just demolitionist right away. Gonna want to do some combination of like demo, fervor, grenadier probably. That'll likely be what we're up to. Go challenge the cavalry into the draven. Draven will just fervor itself into the what do you see? nexus probably. Sure. Which is kind of weird for winning because we are just one off then, but I think it's actually we're not right. No, two, five, plus one. We should be fine. Um, good. Should be fine. Just get rid of the barrier. Pass. He smells something. To the field. I'm ready enough. No Draven pull is kind of weird. Sure about that? Okay, let's just do that then. Good dog. The path. I like the draw more than I like uh, just playing Fervor, because we might be able to just bait out all of his mana next rounds. And then after that, then the Fervor will be... And not guaranteed, I guess, but it'll be very likely to work. The desert. And if we can just go wide enough so that he can't develop enough units to block, we'll probably just get there anyways. So we can just like axe one of the 1-1s one that'll go in, and then that's three. And that's kind of lethal, so. Yeah. Should be fine here. Do your worst. I'm a smith, not a soldier. You wanna know why this guy's running Ionia? Five head tech cards. We do not know. I'll tell you what, he doesn't run Hearthstone cards. Whoa, hey. That is for sure. Refuge is good. So I do this into Refuge, and then we hope that he does not have a combat. If he does, then. A little bit annoying. Yeah, no combat, we're good to go. And Refuge is a pretty good defensive option, so I can see that being worthwhile for sure. If you're not trying to play Bannerman. Mono Shrima with only Azir. So this has to be like some turbo level deck then. Okay. We'll rip a Dune on one, I think. Other cards are not that great. Regard is a 3-2, yes. It's the whole reason I'm playing this is because Regard got buff. Sand disc, okay. Bang bang, four and one. I, I'm gonna guess we should be fine. They do have like one of units that are kind of large here to just go ahead and uh I mean just kind of push the sun the buried sand disc forward. It's not gonna attack. I probably should have actually slipped the vault there. That's my Ben. No triple ones here. 
I think the rear guard just dies no matter what, so make that one vulnerable. We should have even just done that next or last round. Yeah, higher fence one. It's a little bit difficult. I think I'm just gonna play the strongest cards that I can here. I have my orders. I still have the free hit with the uh the demolition is on the house spider, so I'm not too concerned with not getting that ever. So 11, sure. I think those are probably the right targets. For him to block at least. He won. I think we just go wide and then we don't really worry too, too much about T1. These dunes are the lifeblood of Summon an attacking sand soldier. I have never seen this card before in my life. I'm in a 3-5 and the sound line is actually not terrible. I also wouldn't say it's very good though. Play spider card. Definitely no blocking goes on there. So idea is I'll just do five and put him in six there on the open. Put him in four, sorry. It's kind of just the idea with decks like this is you sort of just develop as many units as you can and you just go in. So the beauty of white cards like House Spider is just good. You just get a unit lead really fast and then they can act as chump blockers later as well. Whereas a lot of other units just can't really do that as well. Okay. I can play Rite of Negation here, so I don't think I'd do anything really. Let's have the Grenadier chill. Double Fervor. Okay. It's kind of good. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Another card that I've never seen before. Okay. Um, I, I don't think for two mana there's really too much you can do at all. I'm just gonna do this and probably win the game. That's funny. Did you? Mono is here. Interesting. Overwhelm stuff, okay. The nice star, let's go. Hawk's kind of annoying, or really anything to block the rear guard, but it's just generally gonna happen. The pets usually go in though, it's nice. Rock Hopper's fine. Three, two, and then he'll kill that next round. Do four damage off. I'm not going that wide. Let's see our advance is kind of halting right about now, actually. I think the order in which I played the ones is actually pretty bad. I'm gonna play Draven because we're just not really doing enough. If he draws the um, the one out of three for the Yeti, we probably just lose. Unfortunate. Uh, I don't know if there's really too much you can do with that, to be honest. Attack like this and probably take the L. Really? I mean, maybe you want to bull? I don't know. You never get another Yeti, right? Oh. A Rune Runner. That's fine. Okay, I will Demolitionist and really nothing. think. I can't flip him so he lives, unfortunate. This is gonna hurt. 
I mean, he never lives. He's not going to flip. Uh, I'd probably keep these here alive, kill that, and then block this. Hey, buddy. What you, doing? you fine? Maybe you do this. Time and kill the runner. That make me the most sense. Let's do that. Good stuff. They walked around. A little big card. It's actually kind of a big deal if he doesn't have a match for it, but that is a match, unfortunately. Kind of sucks. No block on the one one's weird. They're just giving me damage for no reason, really. Some sucky suck going on. Saboteur. Let's go. That's exactly what we need. Grenadier is actually a little bit better. But when I say a little bit, I really mean just a little bit. Okay. Not bad, not bad. That should be fine. Uh oh. It's not very fine anymore. Could at least axe to kill. So, do you have outs? Basically, just for Ron Darius. Beyond that, game's kind of doomed, I think. No one's the wiser. But maybe still one wall. Two out of 29. Mm, that's not the right one, that's fine. Something at least. And most of the other cards do nothing, it's nice to have one that kind of does something. Which is lethal, right? Oh, it's one, wow. Okay! Maybe a zero is good. <laughs> that was kind of nutty flipped, right? Three damage from the token. 